Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. It's afternoon. All right, I'm just back from my appointment at the uh, doctor. This is the medical cannabis doctor, and I am going to be trying uh, CBD oil uh, for my pain, my generalized pain, and also uh, another kind of oil for my sleep. And uh, great. So I'll keep you posted on how uh, that goes. You know, will it be helpful? Will it be, will it be nothing? Will it be uh, noxious? We'll find out. Um, so it's gonna take a couple of days for uh, that to start because I have to wait for an email and all that stuff. But I went today for my intake appointment and to get registered to the program and all of that stuff and to learn about it. And I have to say that once again, even though the manner of the doctor was very nice, and if I had been in my right mind, it would have been fine. But I wasn't because I was so stressed because I was late. And I was late because there was nowhere to park and I'd never been there before. So I had to follow the instructions all the way to the place before I realized that there was easy parking across the street in a mall parking lot. Um, but as I was crawling up to the place, you know, I did a couple of rounds looking for a place to park, like a block or two before I got to the actual building. And um, that took 20 extra minutes and I was a uh, full 20 minutes late. And they had called me this morning asking me to be uh, 15 minutes early. So um, yeah, fail, failed at that, failed at that. And so my stress was mounting and I had my, called my partner and I like, find their number, call them, tell them I'm on my way. Um, I did everything in my power, um, you know, and I did park at the mall. It, I mean, it wasn't directly across the street. It was a block away and across the street. And then I had to get from the mall parking, which is uh, in a tower, right? So I had to get from there and I, don't walk very fast because I have a bum knee and a bum hip and a bum back, <laughs> bum bum. <laughs> anyway, I got there and the secretary was like, oh, you're quite late. We'll have to take this other patient before you. And I was totally understanding, but then the doctor himself, when he saw me, also mentioned it. And I cried. And I'm very embarrassed when I cry in front of people about silly things like being chastised. I, you know, it was too hard. I can't defend myself and I can't take it. So I cried, I had a panic attack and I, I didn't get to have the dignity and the grace of being like calm and competent. You know, I had to excuse myself and ask for tissue and explain that I have other diagnoses that in addition to my pain stuff that make it difficult for me to meet new people and uh, to hear criticism at this particular time or anything that sounds like criticism, you know. So I'm going to try to let that go because that's not the important part, right? Um, but I don't know how to feel and let go. You know what it is, is that I've always been told to let things go before I've had a chance to actually process them and feel them. And that's, um, it's cruel to tell people that. So I'm processing and feeling right now. And I'm also aware that it's an overreaction. And when I'm finished with my feelings, I will feel better. And, and I won't think of it again. But if I am not allowed to feel when I have the feeling, where do I put it? It, 
never goes away. And that's why I was at the doctor's office asking for medical cannabis for my anxiety because I can't fucking let anything go. Right? Anyway, all right, sorry for the swear. I am sorry for the swear. It's uh, the right speech, right? Swearing's not gonna help. Okay, thank you for listening. I do feel a little better. I do feel calm. And I will see you tomorrow.